This new update in After Effects is a game changer and will significantly simplify your workflow. Although this update is only available in the beta version of After Effects, but will soon be integrated in the regular versions of After Effects as well. So starting with update number 1, Multi-Layer Keyframe Copy Paste. So in the regular version of After Effects, if you copy and paste keyframes on the multiple layers at the same time, it's going to duplicate all the selected layers with keyframes. And the only way to copy and paste keyframes is by copying and pasting individual layers separately. So which is really frustrating at times. But right now, with the latest beta update, it changes things completely. You can select copy all the keyframes from multiple layers together and paste it without duplicating the layers. This single update will reduce you like hours of work that you could have used for more productive things. And it doesn't stop here. So you can even paste keyframes in the reverse order by going to edit and paste reverse or using the shortcut key shift plus V. Now you have successfully pasted keyframes on all the layers together in the reverse order. Now moving on to the next update, GPU accelerated user interface. So in the current version of After Effects, if I adjust the layers or panels, you can see how laggy the overall experience is. And if you are working in a large composition with hundreds of layers and keyframes, it becomes a real headache to select all the layers and keyframes and move it around. And when you are working on a complex character rig, it becomes a real pain in the ass working with the rig and moving the controllers around. But in the latest beta update, you can see the overall user interface is a lot smoother. If I readjust the panels, it feels like I've upgraded from 12 FPS to 60 FPS. So if I select the layers and move it around the timeline, or let's select the keyframes from multiple layers, and let's compress or expand the timing between the keyframes, you can notice the overall UI is a lot less laggy than the current version of After Effects. And that's because the latest After Effects user interface is GPU accelerated. So this was one thing we were requesting Adobe to do for After Effects for like years. So we finally got it. Now moving on to the final update, a redesigned user interface for After Effects. While it may not be a groundbreaking update in terms of speeding up your workflow, but it brings a fresh look to your After Effects user interface breaking a monotonity of working with the same user interface daily. And the dark mode in the latest beta version is even darker, offering a sleek visual experience. So in the After Effects beta, if I go to edit, then preference, and then appearance, here you can even change the dark mode to the previous dark mode, or even the light mode, which I don't think anybody uses. So this dark mode is the current version of the user interface color combination that you are getting in uh, the regular version of After Effects. But the darkest mode is the new one. And here you get a toggle button. If you click on it, you can reduce the contrast or increase the contrast. So I prefer this one because with contrast, it's a bit harsher on the eyes. And other than that, here in the toolbar, you can see the selected icons looks a bit different. I mean, the highlights of uh, each of the icons, of, of the selected icons, looks a bit different than the current version of After Effects. Similarly, in the timeline, if you select any of these options, it the highlights are also a bit different here as well. All right, so these are all the major updates for After Effects beta for now. And of course, I will keep you guys updating about the future updates as well. And in terms of AI integration, I'm really excited about what Adobe is planning for After Effects because Photoshop, Illustrator, and even uh, Premiere Pro got some AI integration, but Adobe After Effects still doesn't have any. So I'm really excited to see what Adobe is planning to do with After Effects uh, and how they are going to implement Firefly or their generative AI model into After Effects. And in the last major update, After Effects finally got its 3D workspace. So right now you can directly import 3D models into After Effects without using any external plugin. And if you want a dedicated tutorial on that, then like this video and do let me know in the comment section. So that is it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.